want you to share this live today because I want Spice to see it. I want Aishana to see it. Yes, I want Sincere to see it. I want, uh, what's the other name? Jada Kingdom. All of them. I want you all to see this because you're selling yourself short and you're going to hell if you don't turn around. I'm telling you that because I was you and it's disgusting and you need to stop and I don't know if you have a heart like mine or you have a conscience I know you have kids some of you and uh, I don't even know what to say because we all make mistakes and sometimes I believe even you um sincere when I look at you you're so beautiful I love the relationship that you have with your son. I made some bad mistakes and, you know, um, there's another woman, Spice, you need to relax. I know you, you were living with me at one point and the way you, you, the, you fight for things, you will, you will, you will go to health to get it. I know you. And I just want to reach out to you this morning. I don't care how you take it because I'm not trying to look friends. I'm just here to talk to you because of who I was, you know, I'm still not perfect. I still made wrong choices. I still choose wrong men, you know, and stuff like that, and, you know, cause I did. Yeah. And, um, not that I choose them, you know, when I'm a Christian and doing anything that I shouldn't do. No, I didn't. Yeah. But I just want to talk to you. Breathe. And the, 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 you feel the things of the world when you're greedy for it, you will lose your salvation and this morning I want to speak to you I really want them to share this life I don't care how you take it I'm not afraid of you spice I'm not afraid of you Aishana I'm not afraid of you none of you yeah I'm not afraid I can't stay here so I'm not the world with Jesus thing yeah but I just want you to take a good look at just look at what you've been doing because I started it yeah and I just can't rest unless I speak to you yeah, you're going overboard. It's like a race to hell. Yeah, it's like you're racing each other to get to hell. You know what I'm saying? And if one take off a top, the other one take off a panty. It's like you're constantly competing and the devil is rejoicing. And I, I have a sermon. It's titled, Submit Yourself or Go to Hell. And that is where I was heading. And I want to talk to you this morning. Share this life. And I choose this song. I'm choosing two songs this morning. Because I want to reach you. I want to reach you. Because the God I know. He speaks. And the God I know. Touch hearts. And if you're saying. You know God. And you call his name. And you never hear his voice yet. I want you to really seek him. Because. Baby girl. Sincere, when I look at you, I saw something, you know, things popping up, because you all popping up like spams on these, these phones. And baby girl, when I saw you, you look helpless. It's like you're doing forced labor. You're too beautiful. Oh, God of glory. Come on now, sweetheart. Your mom passed recently. Not, I don't mean to bring her up, but I don't think she would be happy. Please, turn. You're my sisters. Turn. 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 Turn in Jesus' name. Turn in Jesus' name. My poshata. Rebo shai. Yabo koshete. Yabo shata. I want you all to help me to pray for these women. We going overboard now. Mm-mm. I started it, so I need to hand it. Yeah, there's no award that you could want so bad that you have to do what you're doing and you have children. I God. I believe God grabbed me just in time. So I'm praying that God will pull you. Open the eyes. Take that scale from off your eyes because I want you to look at yourself. Look at yourselves. I was once you, darling. I was once you. And you know what? Just so 
that you don't feel offended. I want to, I had this right here to finish off the sermon, but I'm going to read it first. I'm, I'm hurting for you. And I just want you to know this. I'm not perfect now. And God is looking for perfect people. He's looking for people like you. It's a disgrace. It is shameful. You, what you're doing, just competing with each other. It was happening already with me and you, Gracie. Everything I do, you would do something to top it. Are you all going to do, do, do till you get to hell? <sighs> Stop. Turn. I don't care if you love me or not. I don't care. Even if you're my enemy this morning, I love you. You see, every time I pick up my phone, it's either somebody sends something to me or something just pop up like spam. And I've been seeing my little sisters and desperation is has taken control of them. Oh God of glory. I was the worst of them all. As a sinner. So I'm not excluding myself. I am talking about where I am coming from. Even now. I'm still not perfect. Even now sometimes I'm tempted to send somebody to hell. Yeah but I see where people are racing to hell on their own. They're pushing each other. So let's get to the sermon. James chapter 4, verse 4 to 8. You adulterers and are adulteress. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Meaning God and the world are not friend. God and the world is not friend. Yeah? Meaning the, the people who behave in bad in the world and all kind of this and that and corruption and evil and nastiness. God is not friends with the world. Meaning you can't partake from the devil's table and come back and partake at God's table. You can't drink from the cup of the devil and then come sitting here to drink from the cup of God. You've got to choose a side. So he adulterers and adulteress, adulteress. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of God. God resists the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Submit yourself therefore to God, you gunmen. You murderers, you rapists, you criminals, you people in high places that is killing the, 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 the people of God. You evildoers, you prostitutes, you harlots, you warmongers. God is talking to you and I. He said, submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands and purify your hearts. He double-minded. People, you have a double mind. You believe that because you say Jesus and you're not living accordingly. God is happy with you. God is angry at you right now. My sisters in the music business, I was chief of you all. But you, you really gone down to the muck now, man. You at the bottom of the barrel, man. You gone down to the dregs. It's like the Bible said, you, yeah? It's like you're wringing out the dregs now, man. Come on, women. Look, you have children. Let's go. And I don't care if you eat me, I don't care. Because some of you already eat me. Because I, I don't care. I'm not looking any friends from you. I just, I'm, I'm leading you, trying to lead you into righteousness. Because what you're doing, 
You, you, you have a one-way ticket to hell if you don't turn. And it's because of greed, the wealth of the world, the riches of the world. Listen, it's not just you, my sisters. I'm talking to men and women, people, even people in ministry. I'm talking to you. The, the greed, the lust. Lord Jesus. God of glory. Take over again. Take over again. I ain't looking no friends here. Yeah? I am a hell raider. Yes? And I'm raiding hell on your behalf. Because what I'm seeing, not just you, but even my brothers in Jamaica. Come on now. Come on now. What kind of videos are, are those that we're seeing? What are you doing? You have the devil just pressing your buttons. You, you just want to just take lives as if you can give life. Come on, people of God. Prayer, prayer. You need to pray for these people. Pray for our sisters and our brothers that the devil let go of them. Pray. Pray that they submit to God now. Pray that they put down their weapons and go to God and pick up the weapon of war. This weapon is all you need. This weapon, you win every battle with this weapon. There is no weapon like the word of God. It's sharpened and two-edged sword. This weapon here will cause God to freeze and, and freeze and kill fire. Sister Olympia, pray with me for Jamaica. Pray with me for my sisters that are, oh God of glory, come on now. You are not dance or queens, you are dance or prostitutes. You are not dance or queens, you are dance or strippers. Come on now, man, grab a hold of yourself now, Jesus Christ. I'm crying for you. Somebody talk to them. You are with them, talk to them. Come on now. Jesus of Nazareth, think about your mother and the way you were brought up. Come on now, you're selling your souls for what? For what? To spend eternity in hell? I almost, almost went near. Makoshata, rebo shekitete, ribanda yamakata yaboshata. I pray in the name of Jesus that God will assign angels to you, Spicer, to speak to your heart. Yes, and see, come on. Look at your son and you will see God. Look at the relationship that you have with him. Come on. Last night and I went to research. I said, I said, let me look for Aishana. Yeah, because I heard something like she had run away from something. You know, because it seemed like when she saw that this was taking her to hell, she pulled back. But when I put her name in, I found that she was still singing the same thing. Lady saw thing is played out, people. Women. The lady saw call up man on stage and spread out and flat note. It mash up, it done with it, it, it still. Nobody don't want to see it. People just laughing at you. Marco Shatter, you want to look like the world and sound like the world. My God, why you think I wasn't signed to no big company? You think I didn't have the pen and the contract? Yes, I did. Yeah, where you are, Spicer, could have been because the woman that you take away from around Miss Casey is who connect you to love and hip-hop. Love and hip-hop, you need to go love God and love your children and walk away from sin. Monday, Kataya. Rebu Shaka. Everybody say them have a girl. What wrong with you? Monday, Kataya. Boko Shebo Shaka. Man sweet abo kataya shaya. All when them abuse me. Makobo shaka. Look abo shaka. You know if you follow fashion. I'm not against people and what they want to do. Concerning their sexuality. Because I have gay friends and God didn't tell me to run them from me. Yes, God talked to me once and tell one of them to stop doing some things that he was doing. I say, God, I can't tell him that. But God woke me mouth when I make the call and I had words to tell him what God said. He knows and he still watch me. He knows I'm not lying. And he did turn some, when he was about to explain him thing to me, God just started 
speak to me and I say, well, him say, he tell you, say. And some of the things that God told me to tell him, I don't remember. Even today, there's a young man that always seeking, I told you about him. And when I tell him to go and get baptized, he got the Holy Ghost. And I love him no less if he was still, and he's still struggling. I know he's still struggling, but I love him no less. Yeah? But somehow no follow fashion. Yeah? That's what you're doing. A follow. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I don't want to stray from the topic. But I'm not looking friends from you. I'm trying to save you. Save you from burning in hell. Hell is real. And no money can pay. You may can pay off a radio man, pay off a, 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 a this one, pay a money to get on the, the biggest platform to sit and do interviews and pay somebody to do, do this and publicize you as if all is well, but you lie in his lies. You're unhappy. At night time, you, you, you can't sleep comfortable. If you have a heart and think about them children, you can't sleep comfortable. When I look at your little sense here, there's something about you that I like, an innocence that I like. When I look at you, there was something that I saw. I saw Megan, yeah, the stallion or whatever stallion that she looked like a stallion. There's a, there's a video that pop up when she lap you and she just slamming you, yeah, in our position. And she's slamming you. And when she slam off, it's like, you look lost, baby girl. You look so innocent. It's like forced labor. Please, look back at the video. When you first come out, you wear your costume with horns. You're looking for the devil wearing horns. He's not coming with horns like that. The Bible didn't say you have horns. He's right next to you. He's sitting right next to you telling you what to do. Think about how you were brought up. I would do a song with you. I hear you one time you put out, say you'd love if I do another heels on and something like that and people almost crucify you. I would do a song with you. I would. I did get a message from Spice. Wanted to do a song before her album came and she sent some people from VP and I run them and said, uh -uh. Yeah, if you all clean up yourself, I would. I would. I'm not telling you to baptize no. I'm not forcing you to the water. But God did tell us to go and spread the gospel. I love you. I'll give you to spice for all you did to me. Yeah. I know it, I know how you are. You're very aggressive. To get to the top, you will kill to get there. You will step in people's head, and that was what you did to me. To get to where you are. But I'm not mad at you. Because that was not where I should be. This is where I should be. God ordained this. And put me here so I can speak to you all. Submit. Or go to hell. And I said this. With no disrespect. No hate. No jealousy. There's a door. God is the door. Yeah? He's there. I pray your mother will pray with you, Gracie. Yeah? Yeah? And I pray that you don't take this message in a negative way. But if you do, so be it. I'm not afraid of you. Because I know you. Very hard to deal with. Anyway, people of God, let us get back to what I was saying. See some things 
I'm like, Marian, is you start this, you know, so you better hand it. You start it, so finish it. Yeah? There was a woman by the name of Lady Pacho. She said she was the queen of the park. She stole a song from me. I wrote this song when I was in Canada. I'm on a long distance call. I'm talking to my baby down my yard. And she stole it. I almost slap her over at sing one night for it. Yeah? But I leave her alone. Yeah? When I look at her now, I, there's a woman that assigned her. I, I think God assigned Chevelle Franklin to her. Chevelle used to pray for me and I saw Chevelle now praying for that woman all the time. When I look, it's like she's lost. She's so lost. Trying to come back so many times. Come back to what, Patra? Go to God. There's nothing for you to come back to. You, you, you go be in the world and lose your soul. What? Does it profit a man? People of God, we need to start praying harder than before for our sister. The time you're there telling them then this and then that and then look good. You don't look good. The addition that you put on don't look good. Shanshia, you born look good. You didn't need anything else. What's wrong with you? Grace, you didn't look good. You don't look good again. You messed up yourself. You follow fashion. I don't care if you like me or not. The devil is a liar and the devil is lying to you. When things start pop down and every branches are drop off and you can't catch up, what you gonna do? You have your children to live for, to see your grandchildren. Come on! When your children go to school, people laugh and talk about you. Come on now! The only way you should be seen in that manner is if a man video you unknowingly and put it out. And may God mess them up. Yeah, them type of man there. Eh? Things that you should have in your bedroom. You gone out, but Lady saw so bring bed down a sun face. You gonna bring bed now? It played out. Get it in your head. Somebody need to tell you. Yeah? Oh, God of glory. There was a woman. She is still all right. Foxy Brown and I used to be friends. And I did a, um, two songs for her. She did one for me, but then she wouldn't give me the song for me and her start war. Yeah? And the, the accusation was that I like her man, I want her man. She said it to my female manager. I'm like, what? You know? Which was Praga, who was friend with my ex. You know? So I don't know how that possible. So, anyway. She was about to say something about my career and I just shut it down. And I said some things. Because me no normal in my mouth. So me under construction now but back then. I saw her reaching out to me. Recently. And I'm like. She reaching out to me. She reaching out to me because she's. She want me to do some video clip for another female who is going through. And I couldn't do no more than just tell her. So when I was going through you see. When it was like the world was against me. People set people against me. I had was to turn to Christ. And that is where I find comfort and I found healing. And that is where she need to go. Tell her to go to God. Talk to God. I want to see. Oh, you're going to take this message today. It's not preaching. I want to see how you're going to take this message. Yeah? And what you're going to say. Because I care zero about what you say. Nothing. Yeah? I don't care. Yeah? I am trying to help you because just like me, there are times when we lose ourselves. And we do things that we shouldn't do. Yeah? I am on the lineup for Bob Marley birthday celebration next week. You think, if I was still out there, as lady saw, I dash up and fling up and, you know, you think, they would be even 
call me for such an event. I am so honored to be a part of that lineup. That's one of the good news I wanted to tell you. There are things that God has prepared for us. There are open doors that are set before us that no man can shut. But until we clean up our mess, until we walk away from our mess, until we realize that that is not of God, until we go back to our parents and grandparents and remember how we were brought up. Good morning, ma'am. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, sir. No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I will, Auntie Mer. Yes, I will. Yeah, yeah. When you go back to the way how we were brought up and not the way how the world is bringing up their children. Some of you people, the way you're bringing up your children, before time you start put on nails on them, you start doing this and that and that and their babies. And they grow up wanting, yet yeah? you don't know how to tell them, no, you can't have it. So however they should get it, they're going to get it. People, come on now, man. Come on. So, when my manager told me that he got a call, you know, and they'd like me to be on the, the Bob Marley birthday celebration this time around, I'm like, my God. I remember when the Lord sent me to Tony Rebel, Tony Salute, um, Rebel Salute, I mean, and I didn't understand it. But for me to be on that lineup, and some of you devils, you know, I try not to tell you because you devils, you will do everything, but you cannot stop what God has already predestined. So from when, when, when I, I, I remember listening to, to Bob Marley and I hear him talk about God, you know, and his mother, you know, was from the Apostolic Church also. So I'm like, wow, God, God. You know, I just thank God for the, the cleansing, for the cleaning blood. Yeah, the cleansing blood. You don't see it, but it is there and it's doing miracles. And I'm so sorry for my sisters and the desperation that is upon them. They're desperate and, and they, they don't even know when to stop. People of God. I don't want to lose sight of what I'm preaching right here. Yeah? I don't want to lose sight of what is happening here. There's no more long lines to the embassy. There's long lines to hell. Yes? So long that it just wrapped around, wrapped around people, children. Yeah, it's around the whole soul. It is like hell is just sucking in people at a rate that is beyond us. At a rate that is beyond the norm. Yeah? Satan has his chair leaders standing at the gate of hell rejoicing right now on your behalf. How you feel about that? Yeah? The devil and his offspring, they're standing at the gates right now. And they are rejoicing, applauding you. Applauding you. Because you're coming, you, you, you're coming, you're coming, you're coming fast, man. They're, they're like, ah, she soon come, man. Yeah, yeah, soon enough she's going to die. She, uh, and she's going to die in her sin. He's going to die in his sin. Leave him, leave him and let him, yeah, man, leave him. Yeah. And... They are rejoicing right now. They're cheerleaders. Yes? And right now as we speak. Because the race, the race that is taking place. My God, people are kicking down each other to get there. And, and they're kicking up because you think you're racing another one to get to the top. But it's not the top, honey. It's not to the top. It may look like it's to the top, but it's, it's hell. That is where that race is leading you to. Yeah? Satan is, the, is right there cheering you on, him and his entourage. Yeah? Clapping you. How you feel about that? Hmm? Yeah? Listen to this. Run 
for Christ and stop running for the devil. The Bible said, run the race that is set before you. Look into the altar and finish off your faith. Your mother used to run that race. Some of your mother still alive, still running that race. Come on, join with her and run. And if she passed, take up the torch and run with her. Run. Run and finish the race for her if she had passed. Run the race that is set before you. Look into the altar and finish off your feet. There is a finish line. And when you finish this race, the race that God has set before you, you will reach.